Hi there. I'm going to talk a bit about how I lip buzz and why. So lip buzzing for me is about establishing the embouchure and establishing the foundation of my sound. Our sounds are all created by vibrating lips and I have found that by starting my day with lip buzzing, I am able to get a richer, fuller, and more efficient sound. Lip buzzing can take a lot of forms. I know people who can lip buzz up in this register, and I know people who can't buzz above a low C. For me, lip buzzing occurs down the octave. So as I demonstrated earlier, I was playing the piano here, but my buzz is You might think if I were to put the mouthpiece up onto my lip that I would get a buzz that's down here but it's kind of strange. That's sort of where I naturally set. Same if I take the mouthpiece away. That's without really changing any tension or anything in my, my, uh, my corners. If I try to falsely make the pitch stay the same, you'll, hear that I, or you'll see that I actually have to change a lot. What happens when I bring the mouthpiece up to that? Totally different. So, some people have to buzz in that octave in order to get the same result. Whatever works for you is what matters. Now, buzzing can be done in a lot of very inefficient ways and it can be done in ways that are very detrimental. For instance, in my demonstration, my buzz is very buzzy, for lack of a better word. It's not airy, it's not uh, diffuse. Examples of that might be where I'm using a ton of air. Um, another example of that might be you know, the pitch is not stable. The pitch is very And it's only about a piano, maybe mezzo piano at the most. When you're doing these exercises, it's also important to be very true to pitch. I've heard many people buzz in a lot of ways, and for me, I've found that playing with a piano, playing with a pitch center is, is really crucial. So that means being very clear about the intervallic relationships. We want to avoid gliding through in a, in a non-controlled way. This is another reason why I like to use a metronome. It helps to keep me clear with intervals and with the timing of the intervals. So we want to avoid anything like that. We want something very, very clear. So with the metronome, again, and I like to have a plan for the amount of time I'm going to hold each thing. So as stamp indicates, I like to do three eighth notes, da da dee da dee da dee, and then I hold for three counts on the sustain. Take a breath, move on. So going through this on a daily basis really helps me to ensure that I'm starting in a good, clean way. I find if I avoid doing lip buzzing for too long, my, my the beginning of my day will tend to, I don't know, take a little longer to get going on the trumpet. This is, uh, to quote Mike Sachs, this is like a microwave version of everything in our trumpet playing. You have to establish the most resonance and the most harmonic color in your buzz in order to get your buzz to be efficient. And if you can get your buzz on your lips alone to be rich and clear and clean and in tune and in time, you're going to be able to establish that much more quickly on the trumpet. So any questions or comments on that, please put them in the comments and feel free to reach out with any uh, thoughts. Have a great day.